take a look at fractions on an HP SmartCalc 300S calculator. And um, I have this up here. Let me um, clear the result. There we go. And let's take a look at simplifying a fraction. So if I do 40 divided by 72, then do an equals, comes up and gives us 5 ninths. So that would be your answer. Now, if it gives you a decimal for some reason, there's a button here that says S, and then there's arrows, and then D. This is what switches back and forth between fraction and decimal form. So, see, if I just click it one time, it becomes a decimal. One more time, it becomes a fraction. Let's take a look at um, this problem, addition. And again, I want to clear that off. So, I do 1 divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27 then do an equals and that gives us 11 over 108 and again you can go back and forth between fraction and decimal by pushing this uh, SD button Let's take a look at subtraction. So I got 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 3 and then equals and we get 1 15th as our answer. Now multiplication. I'm going to have 14 divided by 21 times 9 uh, let's try it again 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7 and then equals and that gives us our answer of 6 sevenths. now division you always have to be careful in how you input division in your calculator. The best bet is if you're dividing two fractions, you should put parentheses around each fraction when you plug it in. So I'm going to do my beginning parentheses. 20 divided by 27. Closing parentheses. And here's the beginning parentheses and closing parentheses. Divided by beginning parentheses 10 divided by 18 and then closing parentheses and then equals and that gives us our answer of 4 thirds now if I push this SD it switches back and forth between decimal and our improper fraction form now if you want mixed number form if I do shift and then push the SD it'll change it to 1 and 1 third or to switch it back, do shift again and push the SD button and accesses that above the above the button. Okay, one more. This is a complex fraction, a fraction inside of a fraction. The key to that is put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom when you plug it in. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, one divided by three plus one divided by 5 closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses 1 seventh so 1 divided by 7 minus 2 and then closing parentheses and then equals and it gives us negative 56 over 195 and that'd be how you do fractions on an HP SmartCalc 300S uh, scientific calculator.